I'm Tiana. And I'm Adrian. And this is Tiana, Tiana and Ace Taste. This week's video is a grocery haul, a typical one week grocery haul for Tiana. So basically this is a combination of from Whole Foods and Amazon Fresh um, that we had delivered. And we'll kind of go through everything, let you know kind of what I get in a typical week, but also maybe on, um, you know, ways that I use it as well. All right. First up, we have the Tyson's Boneless Skinless Chicken Breast. So these are frozen chicken breasts, and you get a bunch of them in the pack, so it's great to just have on hand. Um, we buy them when they go on sale and tend to have a few in the freezer downstairs. Um, the other thing for meat that we typically get every week is fresh salmon. Um, I will say, because we're actually filming the day before Thanksgiving, we did order a couple days ago, so because it was fresh, um, I've already put that in the freezer, but we do get a filet of salmon every week. Another meat we have here is a chicken pepperoni. Pizzas, you know, that kind of thing. Um, then kind of into produce, we'll get raspberries, um, a thing of blueberries. Normally it would be full, but my husband's already gotten into that. <laughs> <laughs> Some bananas always have on hand, some strawberries. What do you do with your bag of apples? So I get a bag of apples typically because I will do either smoothies or a juice, um, and I like to have Granny Smith apples for that. Also with this time of year, sometimes I'll bake up like a little apple crisp. It's nice to just have them on hand. Little apples in the pancakes. You could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, also for fruit, uh, mini watermelon, um, yeah, just nice to have. Lemons. Yeah, and I've been getting a bag of lemons lately because I've actually been doing a warm lemon ginger water in the morning and it's a lot cheaper to buy it that way. Some sweet potatoes. I prefer the white sweet potatoes. They're a little less sweet, so for me, I like them a lot more. I just learned something. She's gonna tell me more about white <laughs> sweet potatoes. <laughs> And I can see we've gotten into something else as well. <laughs> yeah, we had some salads earlier in the week, but English cucumber, always something that we have in hand. Typically some avocados. Um, now kind of into some dairy products. This is more kind of a treat when you're like, I really just need tortilla chips and dip. Um, it's the Siete, it's the spicy Blanco Cashew Queso. I'll show you a little closer. I get this at Whole Foods. Um, it's really, really good. It's a non-dairy option, but it's delicious and it does not last long in my house. <laughs> um, I also have some vegan cheeses. I have um, cheddar slices, but I also have Colby Jack shreds and then also and mozzarella. <laughs> yeah, so pizza, sandwiches, things like that. They're very, this brand, the VO Life, is a really good brand for vegan cheeses. We can actually link you to our vegan cheese video if you haven't seen it yet. Yeah. All right. Tell us about this. So this is one of the easier to find um, non-dairy butters. It technically doesn't say it's vegan, so if you are a vegan, they do have an option that does say vegan on it. It's just a little harder to find. This one for me is fine because again, it's just no dairy. And I've had it and it's tasty. <laughs> Um, and then, oh, I guess some vegetables. Um, we do a lot of frozen vegetables, so I should say there's there are frozen vegetables in the freezer. I just didn't need them that week. Um, but some fresh spinach is always something that we have on hand. And then uh, kind of the last vegetable would be some celery. I also use this in my juice, but um, because Thanksgiving's coming up, we will be putting this in the gluten-free stuffing. Our pickles vegetables. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Good snack too. <laughs> and then we also have the salsa. Yeah. So there, we already had some tortilla chips, but I do typically get my tortilla chips also from Whole Foods as well. Um, and then I have some sliced almonds. I like to add this on the top of salads um, just to add some crunch and you know different flavor. And that this is the best gluten-free bread that I have found. Now, Canyon. Sorry. No, no, that's fine. This is the white. Um, bread. They have like a multi-grain one and I think they have a rye as well. This does have sugar in it and I do try to stay away from refined sugar, um, but by far that's much better than a lot of the gluten-free breads. Not in way. And it's non-dairy, but it does have eggs, so it is not vegan. Um, and then also 
well, speaking of eggs, we got two cartons of eggs um, with baking and, you know, breakfast items. We always grab those. Speaking of baking, it's a gluten-free fudge brownie mix. Yeah, so this mm. is, again, has sugar, so we don't typically eat this, but great around the holidays, um, a good gluten-free option. Um, that King, I think it's King Arthur brand. It is. Yeah, so King Arthur flour is a really good gluten-free flour, um, and their products that they make are really good. And speaking of gluten-free flours, this is the one that I use the most for baking. It's the Bob's Red Mill one-to-one. Um, if you have seen any of our other recipes, I typically always have at least some of this Bob's Red Mill included in that. We also have some sea salt and veggie straws. Yeah, <laughs> that, it, that would make sense because my mom and my husband have similar tastes in snacks and foods sometimes, but those are my husband's. I don't care for them personally, but he loves them. Okay, I'll have them eat them. <laughs> um, and kind of another, you know, it's nice sometimes to have a quick, easy dinner. So we do have these chicken taquitos. They're frozen um, and we just put them in the air fryer and you can have dinner in like 15 minutes. Um, we'll typically whip up a homemade guacamole and have some of the salsa um, and again a fast dinner. And these I'm guessing are for Thanksgiving. Yes, yeah, so this is a gluten-free and a non-dairy um, gravy that I found at Whole Foods. I typically use a different brand, but I wasn't able to get that, so hopefully this is good. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I get to be a guinea pig too. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then we also get a couple of the almond milks. I always do the unsweetened original, so that way if I use it for something savory or for something sweet, um, I like to just go with the original rather than the vanilla. Mmm, I see some holiday nog. Yes, yeah. <laughs> another treat. Um, but this is a non-dairy, I'm sure. It's I a would, coconut. Yeah, yeah, I would assume that's also vegan, um, but it's definitely a non-dairy. Um, coconut eggnog basically um, but it's I've had a couple of them this one I really like um, and then to kind of go with the holiday season we got some apple cider and some sparkling cider yeah it's always fun of course and the last couple items are just the drinks which are a little heavy but um, we got a thing of spindrift what flavor is this one the lemon tea, I think. It's like a half, half and half. Half and half, yes. Yeah, so it's a, like a tea lemon. Um, there's no sugar in these. It's just carbonated with a little bit of natural flavor. And the last one is Zevia, which is a soda, basically, that is sweetened with, um, with stevia, stevia instead of regular sugar. This is my husband's favorite. I will have a couple sips. I'm really not a big, like soda person, but this one, the ginger root beer is the best one that we've had. So I think it sounds like it tastes good. Yeah, no, <laughs> it is It is pretty good. And again, if you like, you know, if you are craving soda, that's a much better option than a traditional soda. Okay, and the last thing. I found it hiding. Yeah, <laughs> just a gluten-free soy sauce. Um, you know, always need to have soy sauce for, at least in my house. Um, so that is our kind of typical grocery haul in a given week. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like it and, you know, yeah, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below if there's anything else that you'd like to see from us and we'll see you next, next Thursday with another video. Thank you for joining us.